Greetings again. We're back here studying our favorite three-sided friend, the triangle. This time, we're going to talk about area and how knowing a triangle's base, height, or area can help you find out more about that triangle, perhaps more than you'd like to know. Let's get started by talking about formulas. The area of a triangle equals one-half the base times the height. Remember that the base and height are always perpendicular to each other. In a right triangle, the base and height are the legs. Sometimes the height is outside of the triangle. Notice the base and height are still perpendicular to each other. Now that you know the basics, let's look at some problems that ask us to apply this formula. These are similar to problems you might find on the ACT. Find the height of a triangle whose base is 10 and whose area is 150. A is 8, B is 16, C is 30, D is 40, and E is 80. The problem doesn't give us a picture, so let's draw a triangle and label the information that was given to us. The base is 10 and the area is 150. Since the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, we know that 150 equals 1 half times 10 times the height. Simplify to get 150 equals 5h. Then divide each side by 5 to find that the height equals 30. So answer choice C is correct. That's how you find the height in a problem in which you're given the area. Here's a pause and solve problem. Get a piece of scratch paper and a pencil so you can work this one out on your own. Pause the video when I give the word and restart it when you're done with the problem and we'll go through it together. The question states, how many square feet is the area of the shaded triangle below? A is 9, B is 16, C is 32, D is 40, and E is 48. I mentioned earlier that sometimes you'll have to look outside the triangle to find the height. One of those times is right now. Ready, set, pause. Welcome back. Let's go through a breakdown of how to solve this problem. Notice that the height of the shaded triangle is outside of the triangle. First, we need to find the base of the shaded triangle. That's easy. 10 minus 2 is 8. So we'll write that in. Now, using the formula area equals 1 half base times height, we can find the area of the shaded triangle to be 1 half 8 times 8. Using our calculator, we input 1 half or 0.5 times 8 times 8 to get the answer, 32. Our answer is C. Now, let's look at a triangle problem that seems to require algebra. We can actually solve it by picking numbers. One side of a right triangle is 2x minus 2 feet long, and the side perpendicular to it is 4x plus 3 feet long. Which of the following expressions must represent the area in square feet of the triangle? Our answer choices represent the area of the triangle. Let's substitute 3 for x. Now let's draw the triangle and label the information we know. Using a calculator, we enter 2 times 3 minus 2. That's 4. And the side perpendicular to it is 4 times 3 plus 3 feet long. That's 15. Now we can use the formula for the area of a triangle, area equals 1 half the base times the height, and substitute the lengths of the legs. Write 15 just above the b in base and 4 above the h for the height. If you plug it into your calculator, you find that 1 half times 15 times 4 equals 30. Now let's see which of the answer choices is equal to 30 when we use 3 for x. Let's start with answer choice A. Substituting 3 in for x, we get 12 minus 3, which is 9, not 30. Let's cross out choice A. Choice B would be 4 times 3 squared minus 9. That's 27, not 30. Let's also cross out choice B. Now let's give choice C a try. When x equals 3, 4 times 3 squared minus 3 minus 3 is 30. Choice C it is. As you can see, picking numbers made an intimidating algebra geometry problem a lot simpler. I know I told you that you might learn more about the secrets of a triangle than you ever wanted to know, but you'll thank me when you dig into some ACT triangle problems and know exactly how to solve them.